Okay, a demented wizard who has mastered the summoning arts. Okay, so he'll summon phantoms, is that it? Ooh, a phantom taking the form of Carol's estranged sister. Cool, so I have to kill Carla, is that it? Okay. Hey, the phantoms have animations? That's really cool. I like that. That's actually really cool. Oh! Oh, oh my god, it looks so good! That is an amazing custom animation. I really like that one. Man, this chapter is blowing me away. This, this right here... This is, uh, this is good content. This is good. Definitely the most impressive story so far. Carell. Oh, nice, you got Fire Emblem 8 music. Carell. Simple illusions, nothing more. Carell. Be gone, thought. And the thought, be gone. Carell. Well, that was easy. But where's the mage who can freeze the blood in my veins? That's what I want to know. Okay, I, I probably shouldn't go into his range. Ah, oh, he keeps summoning them. I see, I see. Ooh, okay. Well, these guys have, like, no chance to hit me, so... I like how Karel's attack begins as the phantom is floating backwards. I wonder if that's intentional, but it actually looks pretty cool. I remember there were some issues with bloodlines, I remember, with the bees, the way they, when they attacked, you dodge slightly before they hit, because you need to time it properly, but that's actually kind of cool. Be gone! Thought! Carell. Okay. See if we can take him out now. Um, yeah, okay, he has an iron rune as well, but look at that! The devil sword does exactly- oh, wow. Oh, yeah, that's not great. Oh, that's not great at all. You could cut down your own sibling, row no remorse, no hesitation, no tinge of regret. But it's his cousin? Petty illusions designed to prey on weak emotions. Your cheap tricks won't save you today. Someday my sister will fall to my blade. However, it will devour you first. Gah, demon! Yeah, because if he actually hits me here, it's game over, and I'm gonna, do ev <laughs> I'm gonna have to do everything all over again, which is kind of bullshit. Okay, there we go. Oh, what? <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <laughs> it backfired! Go, a monster, I'm not ready to die. No! Oh, shit. Shit! Okay, that's stu that stupid. Death cannot be bested with a sword. My skills are not yet honed, so it's just a level. I should take my leave of this battle. Wait a minute, I can steal his iron rune. Okay. I don't think it's gonna matter, though, but I'm gonna try anyway. Let's see if it works. Wait, what? Oh! Okay! Please don't backfire. Uh oh I'm dead. Okay, never mind, I'm good. Karel. Okay, so now I can probably kill him with the Wudao. Alright, let's try it. Come on, there you go. He's dead. I knew that Thief Glove would come in handy, but now I find myself in serious need of some healing. Oh, what? No! What, I'm gonna have to deal with him? This is stupid. Never mind. It, it's gonna be fine. I can still kill her. So he summons her despite dying. That seems like a bug. Okay, is that it? Such cowardice. He is unworthy of my blade. A master of illusions and nothing more. My blade, it cries for a worthy opponent. Perhaps, perhaps Carla. Ooh, do we get to Carla now? The phantom was my mother? An illusion of her, yes. Supposedly, a barbarous phantom takes the shape of what you most love. It was his way of mentally fighting. To this day, I cannot understand why I took that shape. Back then, I was incapable of loving anyone. Uncle Carol. Does Fear have different eyes in this hack? Do you hate me, Fear? No, it's so in the past, Uncle. Fear, I killed them all. What? Your grandfather, your grandmother, all of our family. They all fell to my blade. I, I see. Only Carla remained. I let her live because she wasn't strong. I thought she may one day be a worthy opponent. 
and after killing Barbaros, I thought she may be that opponent I saw. What are you talking about? Fear, I sought to kill your mother. Okay. Carla, how is your illness today? Ah, Chief Cairdin. Ka- Cairdin? Cairdin? I'm feeling better, thank you for asking. Carla, I wanted to ask you something. Have you heard from your brother lately? What? Well, no. What would prompt you to ask? The guards who keep watching the tunnels. One escaped, the rest were slaughtered. According to the survivor, the attacker looked like a member of his tribe. I think you know what I fear. Carla, why would Carl come to our village? Carla, tell me, the fate of our tribe may be at stake. I know why he's come. You do? He's come for me. They've all hidden. Such cowards. I call my clansmen. Oh, such cowards I call my clansmen. I get it. Long have I waited for this day to come. Carla, who is this guy? You know who he is, Bartra. You fought with him. Once this day is over, I will stand triumphant over the entire family. Carla? It's been a long time, brother. He's your brother? You know who he is! How do you not know who Karel is? Karel, is this truly our fates? Must we fight until one of us dies? It is destiny. If you're looking for a fight, look no further. Hide, Carla. I'll take care of this creep. Uh-oh. No, Bartra, this is a, not a good idea at all. What the hell? Oh. Stand aside. This is a battle between blood. You're threatening my wife. The hell I'll stand aside. What kind of brother are you? You never visit your own sister. And when you do bother to show up, it's to fight her? Pah, you should be ashamed. Bartra, let me handle things. That voice. Let her be, Carol. This matter doesn't concern you, Caridin. You want to fight Carla because you think she'll be a challenge? Your sister has been ill for several months now. You would cut her down like an infant bison? If it's challenge you seek, substitute her blade for mine. I am this clan's patriarch, the best swordsman in the entire group. You've piqued my curiosity. My duel with Carla will have to wait until later. Care to know? There is no cause for concern, Carla. I did teach him his swordsmanship, after all. Cairdin, watch yourself. I couldn't even hit him. Well, Bartra, that, that doesn't say much, to be fair. If I'm to die here, then the spirits will make it so. Bartra, take Carla away from this place. Don't disappoint me, Cairdin. Alright. Another another battle. I wonder if that, that house over there seems visitable. Oh, this guy's strong. Okay. Why does it say he has a talk conversation with Karel? Also, what does... Okay, he also has an iron rune. I have two. I, I want to go and... Uh, I want to go and visit that house, though. I feel like there's something in this house. There better be something in this house. Because it looks like it's important. Nope. Okay. Okay. Let's go steal his shit, I guess. But why does it say I can talk to him? Because I don't have the opportunity to talk to him. The lust in your eyes. You don't know how long I waited for a worthy foe. The ground stained with your blood as I stand over your body in triumph. You always were fascinated with blood, weren't you? To draw a person's blood is to end, oh, to end a person's life. That is the ultimate power. It is the power that my sword grants me. You really have strayed from the swordsman's path. Enough words. My sword can no longer hold back the urge to fight. Okay. Well, this battle could take a while. Still can't talk to him. Hey, how, how about the Devil Sword? Ooh. Fuck it, let's try the Devil Sword. Oh! Mm. Yes! Got him. Uh no, I can't I can't die here. Haha, <laughs> get wrecked, scrub. Ooh, really? That's an achievement? Cool. Wait a minute, so Karel just killed the man who was supposed to teach him a lesson? How does that make any sense? Well, uh, that wasn't really supposed to happen. Then, why did you tell it that way? Sometimes, Prince Mengs, when you're in the heat of telling a story, you can accidentally mistell parts of the tale. Our apologies. Well, I want to know what happens. Prince Mengs, why don't we take a break and then we'll resume the story in a mo- Really? Really? I'm gonna have to play all the way from- No. Okay, so we are back. Uh... So, I don't really know what I'm supposed to do. I, I figured if I just wait a couple turns, maybe let them fight, something will happen. 
but it seems like Carol's just gonna die, so I don't really know how to solve this. Oh, never mind, something's happening. Ugh, not bad. Better than any in this forsaken clad could ever aspire to be. The hatred in your soul, it has blinded you, Carol. Look at yourself, at what you've become, a murderer. Even in your homecoming, you only seek blood shed and death. What else would... S why else would the swords in our hands exist? They all are all forged to spill blood, tools for the killing, and I have mastered their lethal arts. Tools? Truly, Carol, you know nothing. Dead men know nothing. Um, okay. Do I just wait? This is, this is a weird map. I taught you that move. Haha, <laughs> what an irony. The pupil hath come to put his master in the grave. Caradine, you were never my master. No, you were simply another tool. Like the sword you grip in that hand. There you go again, spouting at utter nonsense. Perhaps it is my fault for not teaching you better. The sword is no mere tool. It is an extension of your very essence as a swordsman. Lust fills every inch of your hateful blade. Your idealism will be the death of you, Caradin. If only I had a flake of gold for every time I'd heard that. This sword is a tool, and I am its master, Edgelord McEdge. Nothing else matters! Show me then, cut me down. Gladly. Um, okay, if I do that, I will die, though, so I guess I'm just waiting. Oh, fuck. No, that's not fair! That's not fair! No, impossible. I am bested? Wait, tell me that was what su was supposed to happen? How is this possible? Heed these words, Carell. A great blade is propelled by the momentum of purpose. My sword is sharper. My arm is better. Carell, if I had lost today, you would have proceeded to murder my friends, my family. That is what drove me to victory. What separates the weak from the strong is not merely the sharpness of their swords. Purpose, Carol. The truly strong do not fight from the mere pleasure. Your bloodlust is your undoing, Carell. You've strayed from the path of the sword. Kill me. All true swordsmen follow the path of the sword. Some get lost along the way, and some stay lost forever. I will not kill you. There is greatness in you yet. I... I... All swordsmen know this. It is an elemental truth. Now you are faced with a choice. Stay mired in hatred and darkness, or find your way back onto the path towards purpose. Gah! Carol! Let him go, Carla. Chieftain, what if he returns? He has much soul-searching to do. I trust he shall return a different man. Okay, so it was a, basically that guy who turned him, okay. I ran off in dismay. Fear, my entire world was shattered. All those years I fought for the pleasure. All those years I trained my blade. Without purpose, could I never truly be truly strong? It was a scary thought. I thought I'd been following the path of the sword, when really I was lost. What did you do? I wandered a leave in confusion. I began questioning myself for the first time. Eventually I arrived at this very village. Purpose to fighting? What purpose is there to a sword besides killing? To shed blood, to control others' fate. That's the point. And yet, that idea has guided me to defeat. Defeat against this old man. But I lose to him? I've conquered Alib's strongest? But Alib's strongest were quenched, m never quenched my thirst. After all the bloodshed, I could still feel empty inside. Could Cairden be right? Is there something more to the sword? Young man, go. No, now, now, there's no need to be hostile. Listen, you're not from this village, so I figured I'd let you know. Everyone's hiding in their cellars. A one-eyed giant is coming this way. You'd do well to hide. You can stay in my cellar if you'd like. A one-eyed giant? Yes, there's this giant beast called Gygas. Oh, we've already killed him now. He was once a peaceful recluse hiding away. However, as of late, he's become quite aggressive. Entire villages have been leveled by his rage. We can only hide and pray that we survive his wrath. Hey, wait, are you crazy? Uh, take this tonic at least or something. Oh, thanks. Nice. Oh, it's the village we find him in in Fire Emblem 6. Cool. I like it when, when hacks do this. Gygus, we meet again. Now you have a giant axe. An axe wielded by a giant. Okay. Very informative. Do we stay in the vi- Hey, okay, no, we can't visit the village. Um, okay, I guess we'll just go... Do we use the Buddha or the Devil Sword? I don't know. I feel like we can probably throw away an Iron Room, though. Okay, we'll let the Giant come to us, I guess. Hurrah! Oh, this guy... has an Iron Rune as well, apparently. Either the latter is just inherently immune to crits. Maybe his luck is really high? No, he has an Iron Rune. Let's steal it. What? 
Did I lose my Thief Club? Oh. Alright, I guess it's Devil Sword time then, but not on this face. We'll, we'll let him attack us. Did I did I throw away my, my thieves club? I don't remember doing that. Anyway, he's dead now. Ba -ba -bam, ba -ba -ba -bam. Giant down. Ha! We heard the monsters' cries. What happened out here? The beast is dead. Wow, you saved our village. To you, sir, I a saint. I no. Don't be modest. You've saved many, many lives. What is your name, Sword Saint? I. Uh, my name is Carol. Carol the Sword Saint has a nice ring to it, eh? Listen, you're welcome in this village anytime. I'll go tell the others what happened. Oh, they're all. They'll all be so happy. He thought so highly of me. This one act, this one selfless act, has satisfied me more than all my other victories. Is that purpose? I think I'll. I'll stay here for a while. I'll make my home here and train myself without hate. From that day forth, I have fought not for pleasure. I have fought to help others. It's the least I can do to make up for my crimes. Fear, I may never be saved. That's not true, Uncle Carol. You're a good man. Fear, thank you. Thank you for telling me that story, Uncle Carol. I've learned a lot from you. And yet you still have so much more to learn. There is always more to learn. Will you help me? Fear, I've always taught you that one must find their own path in life. However, sometimes we need a guide to help us when we get lost on that path. If I ever feel like you are lost... Oh, if ever feel like... If ever... I think it was supposed to say, if ever you feel like you are lost, come to me. Uncle Carol, thank you. I will promise. I won't let you down. I'm going to train. I'll be back for supper. Be safe, Fear. Aww. That's a nice little story. That's actually the... Hmm, I'm not sure if I 100% like the writing. I mean, it's a bit cheesy at times, but I love this level design. Like, the whole going from one map to another. This is... This is what the entirety of Hack should have been like, in my opinion. Little mini-stories like this. I, I, I must admit, like, the, qual the difference in quality between the different maps is insane. Like, you got Elliewood's story, which is just, like, the worst shit I've ever played. And you got shit like this, Carol's story, easily the best story so far. I loved it. I guess what I just, what I liked about it was that it was something different, you know? It wasn't just a stand, like, I feel like every other story is like, you have a small army, you, fa you face off against another army, it's basically just a, like a regular map. But this, this map actually did something different. It did something very unique and different. And it, it, fe it felt truly inspired, like the people who designed it really were inspired. Whereas, for example, with Elliwood's story, it felt like they did Elliwood's story just because they had to. Like, they had no vision, no idea behind it. But this had vision, this had purpose, this had inspiration. I love this one. So, yeah, definitely, definitely very, very big fan of this. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, give this episode a like and a comment. It helps out the channel a lot. And tell me in the comment section what uh, story you want to see next. We have Legault, Pence. Uh, I Green and Luis's tales left. So, and of course, I Sephiel. I keep miscounting Sephiel, but we're gonna do Sephiel for last because that's what everyone t wants me to do. So yeah, uh, my name is Sun and I shall see you guys next time. Goodbye.